TRT and hair loss. Welcome to this channel. I am Dr. Steven de Vos, the lifting dermatologist, and this is my partner Danny Bossa. If you want to learn more about the most cutting edge science based information in the world of hormone optimization, please like and subscribe. I also invite you to join my other YouTube channel, The Lifting Dermatologist. The link you can find in the description of this video. Okay, Danny, welcome back. So, are we all turning bold on TRT? So, huge concern from you guys. Um, if you have a nice full head of hair, I used to have a nice full head of hair, trust me, I really did. Uh, if you have a nice full head of hair and you pride yourself on your hair and you're considering going on testosterone replacement therapy, a lot of you are, gonna, are, are wondering or worrying, is all my hair gonna fall out? Because I heard that high levels of testosterone raise DHT, whatever hair falls out. Yes and no. This is gonna vary from person to person. The first thing you're gonna do is look at your father, Look at his father, look at your mother's father, and do they all have nice, healthy, thick heads of hair? Yes. The chances are you can do whatever the hell you want and your hair ain't gonna fall out, okay? Because you just are not genetically predisposed to lose your hair. If you look at your father, your grandfathers, and they're all bald, well, I tell you what, testosterone is gonna make you lose your hair, peanut butter is gonna make you lose your hair, McDonald's is going to make you lose your hair. Going to the movies is going to make you lose your hair. Sex, everything's going to make you lose your hair because you're going to lose your hair. End of story. If your father, your grandfathers are all bald, you're losing your hair. So don't even, I mean, there's nothing you're going to be able to do to stop this. It's just going to happen, all right? When you're taking testosterone, it raises something called DHT. And DHT can aggravate hair loss or accelerate it. A lot of the uh, lotions that you see in the, in the pharmacies and stuff for uh, avoiding hair loss, like uh, there's Nixoral or whatever the hell it's called, basically blocks DHT at the scalp. There's uh, a lot of other type of medications that will block DHT. When you're blocking in the body, it can really tank libido because DHT, uh, along with estrogen, has a definite effect on libido. So tanking your DHT is going to affect your libido. Um, so you can't just say to yourself, you know, I'm going to go on this and all my hair is going to fall. In my case, I had really thick, luscious <laughs> hair. I miss it, but I, I really did. Um, up until probably my, say my mid thirties or so. And around my mid thirties, I started noticing it thinning out a little bit. Now, if I look at both my father's father and my mother's father, they were both bald or balding and they just had the little patch of gray on the side. My father still has you know, decent hair, but it's really, really, really thinned out. So I knew that I wasn't gonna have a full luscious head of hair up in, into my 80s, it just wasn't gonna happen. Um, when I started TRT, it was noticeably thinning out, especially kind of the patch around here. And once I got on, I did notice the process speeding up a bit nothing really significant but perhaps noticeable to me because i was like constantly in the mirror with the you know with the reverse mirror and trying to check my little bald spot where it was and so on and so forth and i noticed it was worsening a little bit more than before okay so nothing extravagant it was a little bit more than before um as you can see i, I mean you know i just cut it short just because it, it, it thinned out enough that when I have it long, it just doesn't look as good as it did before. And my wife actually likes it on me really, really short. She actually likes me to shave it off completely with, with the beard. So, you know, people say, oh, Danny's lost all his hair on TRT. No, like, I, I mean, I, I, I've, got, I've got hair. I can grow hair. Um, right now, it's just I find it looks better short. Um, and, I, you know, when you go from having really thick hair to, like, long, thinning hair, it's just, doesn't look the same to me. It just, I didn't find it all that attractive. So I just cut it all off. Um, so yeah, if you're, you know, if, if you're, if you're really into your hair, I wouldn't worry about TRT just suddenly making it all fall out. It's not going to happen. Don't think of yourself like a cancer patient that you're there in the, in your shower and you're slathering up your hair and suddenly there's these, all these big clumps of hair falling out. Like, no, it just doesn't happen that way. It may possibly accelerate the process a bit. Some people more than others, okay? But typically you wanna look at what do my genetics demonstrate? Do I, will I have hair later on in life based on my family members or will I not, okay? So don't worry about that so much. And I can assure you, um, 
I've gone from a position of having thick, dark, black hair that, you know, just like a forest of hair on my head that I, I used to love, but I felt like crap, okay? I could now shave my head bald and I just feel so much better that hair right now is an afterthought. I don't care about it. Once you're, if you're really feeling crappy, if you're preventing yourself from feeling better because of your hair, stop it now. Trust me. If you get on TRT and you get your dose and your protocol uh, dialed in and you're feeling a hell of a lot better, you're not going to give a rat's ass about your damn hair. Okay. It's just, it's, it's going to be a non-concern. So don't worry about that at all. Um, I hope this was uh, helpful. Okay. Thanks for sharing, Danny.